Good morning, Casa community. It's Mr. Lesher. And Lily Lesher. And we're here to report on the news for April 17th, 2020, a Friday. Today is officially Fun Friday, and our theme today for Fun Friday is Disney. So we'll be doing all sorts of Disney fun things. Mickey Mouse will show up, and we'll have lots of fun with our Disney. Speaking of which, if you did the Disney sing-along with ABC last night and maybe you videotaped yourself, go ahead and send me that video. I'd love to air it on next week's news. So, what do we have in the news this week? Well, we've got progress reports going home today at 4 o'clock. Not really going home. They're going to go to you digitally, so check your emails at 4 p.m. That's when you should have your progress reports for third quarter. Also, next Friday will be our school's virtual dance. Yes, siree. We're going to be having a virtual dance party next Friday. Your teacher will give you the code to the Google Meet next Friday. From 2 to 2.30 will be kindergarten and first grade. From 2.30 to 3 o'clock will be second and third grade. From 3 to 3.30 will be fourth and fifth grade. And from 3.30 to 4 o'clock will be our middle grade students. What a great way to end our celebration of a good week of learning with a virtual dance. I'd also like to thank uh, individuals who posted in the comments about our roller coaster fun that we did out in Disneyland. Uh, the Incredit Coaster was really cool and we had a good time getting out of the house. And speaking of getting out of the house, let's go now live to Puerta Bacchiarda where we have our chief meteorologist telling us about the weather today. Hello, students of Casa Esperanza Montessori. Welcome to Puerta Bacchiarda. I am Snow White with your weather forecast for Friday, April 17th. Today, a high of 71, a low of 59, and sunny skies. Enjoy your fun Friday. Thank you very much for that informative weather update for today. And since it's going to be a beautiful day, why not get outside and do something with your family? One of those things that you could do is go out strawberry picking. We're going to go out a little bit later today to Page Road Farms over here on West Raleigh to go pick some strawberries. They're only charging $14 for a bucket and they positively promote distancing while you're out there at the strawberry picking. So again, give back to the community and get some strawberries. Mm-hmm-hmm. -hmm, yum. And you could also make a dessert and send it to us. And if you can't get outside, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have right now 79 subscribers, and once we reach 100, Senora Torres will be videotaping herself sing, and Senora Fuku will be making a TikTok dance. So subscri subscribe. All right, excellent. So let's check in with Mickey Mouse once again for our birthdays of the day. Oh boy. Oh boy. Our birthdays today are Jared Tejeda in Miss Brock's class, Noah Atwell Armstrong in Senora Vargas's class, and Maeve Jakobowitz in Miss Vargas's class. Have a magical day! Thank you, Mickey Mouse, for sharing out our school birthdays today. Now, let's check in with our favorite family, the Rojases, with our history events that occurred today. Take it away, Rojas family. Hi everyone, we are the Rojas kids. With our mom, Senora Ventas, sharing with you what's happening April um, 17 in history. 1961, Cuba Bay of Pigs. A group of 1,500 Cuban exiles supported by the U.S. government invaded the Bay of Pigs on the southern coast of Cuba in an attempt to overthrow the government of Fidel Castro. The invasion failed miserably, and by April 21st, all had been killed or captured. One year earlier, the CIA had recommended to the Dwight D. Eisenhower administration to recruit, support, equip, and train Cuban exiles for action against the new government of Fidel Castro. Following the change to the new U.S. President John F. Kennedy in February, who has also advised the operation would be a success, the operation was continued. Cuba was tipped off by senior T KGB agents, and intelligence forces arrested more than 10 
a hundred thousand Cubans who they suspected would be allies of the expected invading invading force, ensuring that the invading forces would be cut off from support. In 2007, The Children of Urin by J.R.R. Tolkien has been released in North America and Europe. The book has been developed by Christopher Tolkien over 12 years <laughs> and is taken from the unfinished material written by his father. It includes new color plates and black and white illustrations. Houghton Mifflin has acquired the US rights to publish the book, which is Tolkien's first work since 1977 posthumous Similarian. HarperCollins UK had acquired the project from the Tolkien estate in a world rights deal. The Children of Purim was started in 1918. 2014, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, a very important and talented writer from Colombia, died at the age of 87 in Mexico. Marquez had won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1982 and had a pen penned such famous novels as 100 Years of Solitude or Cien Años de Soledad and Love in the Time of Cho Cholera. Cholera or El Amor en los Tiempos de Cólera. That's all for today. Thank you, Rojas family, for that important fact about today in history. Now let's go to Nina Cook for the word of the day. Devour. Devour is a verb, and it means to eat up hungrily. Devour. Thank you, Nina, for sharing with us the word of the day. Speaking of words, let's hear about some funny words from Roxy and Senora Thuku with the joke of the day. Hi, Hi Casa Dad. family. It is Friday, and our theme of today is... It's dogs! Dogs. Welcome to our joke of the day Friday segment. Roxy, what is the corniest type of dog? Huskies! Get it? Husk. E <laughs> corn husk, good one. Wait, that was my joke. Oh wait, I forgot. I already knew that joke. Bye. Bye, everyone. Have a good weekend. Thank you very much, Senora Thuku and Roxy. Your jokes about the dog was hilarious. So now let's get a teacher message in for us today. Thank you, Roxy and Senora Thuku, for sharing your joke of the day on dogs. I wonder if we'll have a dog joke every Friday. We'll have to find out. But speaking of finding out information, let's check in with Miss Meyer and Miss Matamide with a special message saying hi to us. Hi, guys. Hello, everyone. We missed you. We are packing your things to come home to you. We can't wait to see you. And uh, we hope you enjoy next week's um, week of learning. We have a lot of fun things planned for you and we look forward to seeing you online. Have a great week. Bye. Bye. Next up today we have our DIY aftercare segment. Oh boy, we'll be learning about how to make Play-Doh. Take it away. Hello everyone, this is Senora Diamat from the After School Program and today I'm here with Sofia. Hi. Today we're gonna to show you how to do homemade Play-Doh. This is a very easy recipe and you can do it with the whole family, including your pets. So what we need is half cup of water, a full cup of flour, half cup of salt, food coloring, spoon, in the bowl. Okay, so in your bowl, you mix the flour, the salt, and the water. You have to make sure that you mix all the ingredients like we're doing. <laughs> so once your Play-Doh is ready, you just need to drop one or two drops of your favorite food coloring. This is our finished product. You can put it in a Ziploc bag to save it. Do you have fun, Sofia? Yes! yes! Are you feeling run down? Are you feeling tired? Well, the best way to learn about how to take care of yourself is with Mr. Lynch. So today's daily tip for healthy living, here you go, Mr. Lynch. Hello, everybody. Hola a todos. 
This is Mr. Lynch with your healthy tip for the day. Because we are all using technology more, like computers and tablets or iPads, use the 20-20-20 rule. This means every 20 minutes, you look 20 feet away for 20 seconds. This helps us from straining our eyes or it keeps our eyes from getting tired. As a reminder, drink water throughout the day, try to take a family walk after dinner, and most importantly, have fun while being active. Adios a todos. Hi, Casa community. It's reflection time, and it is our quote of the day. And who better to give us a quote of the day than the very famous Walt Disney. Walt Disney's quote is as follows. All your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. I believe in that, and I hope you do too. So get out there today and every day and work toward those goals that are important to you. They might be academic, they might be social, they might be spiritual, whatever they are, make sure you have the courage because the only way to accomplish them is by doing. Well, CASA community, that's going to wrap us up for our first week of WCASA News, all the information we need for the CASA community. Remember, we have our progress reports going out today virtually. We've got our dance coming next week, and we've got Fun Friday, and we have lots of good things that we're going to share next week. And speaking of which, if you live in the Briar Creek community, can you send me a message? I would love to get on my bike and bring the news to you, so maybe we can do some videotaping. Um, this week, today, I brought in Lily um, as my newscaster, which I appreciate, but I'd love to bring more CASA students into the mix. All right, so that's it for today. Have a lovely weekend. Get out, do some strawberry picking or some other activity. Remember, stay healthy. Practice your physical distancing, but remember to stay social with your friends via video games, via chatting. Just have a good old time. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.